Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about React and Angular. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, why is Angular still the most popular front-end framework in companies instead of React? What, what do you suggest? Thank you. So uh, this is, so I'm not sure when you're gonna watch this, but last time I checked the uh, the competition for like dominance of the front end space in terms of SBAs is between Angular and React. What I've found is that depending on the region you be, you find yourself in, you will find that it's either React or Angular. So Angular is by no means like the dominant player in the front end space all the time. It's usually Angular or React. And the other thing that's worth noting as well is that React is, if you look at Stack Overflow's reports, it's usually the one that people favor in terms of popularity and like love and positive, positive feedback. And Angular is actually not doing as well in that space, but some people really do swear by, uh, swear by Angular. And the reason I believe, this is just what I think, uh, and it's based on my own experiences working with Angular and React because I've worked with both. And it's all based on the thing I usually find when I talk to companies about why they go with Angular. The reason is that Angular is a proper framework. It's a real framework, rather. And that is very significant because the strength of having a real framework is that you have a suite of tools that are designed with the perspective that they should fit all together and they're usually maintained by the same group of people. And this is very powerful. If you know so anything about, say, Java or even better, like C Sharp, C Sharp and the .NET framework and like everything, uh, like Xamarin or whatever, if you're a C Sharp developer, you will probably know how valuable it is to have an ecosystem where everything is designed for the same platform. Everything is designed around catering to the needs of whoever uses it. And that is Angular. That is the strength of Angular. If you use Angular, you don't need a guru level understanding of all the possible libraries and tools and like all this other stuff. Usually at the end, I mean, I'm not going to go all the way and say that you don't have to know anything. You have to know stuff. But it's not at the same level as with, say, React. The thing that is really nice about React is that if you're just using React as the library, that's that's one thing. But you won't get everything that you need to build like a serious, serious SBA because React is not a, like a full-fledged framework. It is a library, or like we we don't. Let's not get into the semantics of things. But you, suffice to say, you have to have a usually at the very least a broader understanding of the ecosystem that surrounds React in order to use it effectively and it's actually it's actually very common that people struggle a little, a little bit with getting everything into place with React. It's not always the case there are tools that can help you with that like create React app and so forth so there is some semblance of trying to do the thing that Angular is doing out of the box but Angular is designed as a real framework. So I've talked to a lot of companies and developers who swear by it because of this exact thing. They're building an SBA. They don't want to deal with all of the different dependencies and like all of this other stuff that comes with dealing with React. They just want something that kind of encompasses all the things that they need. And that is very much Angular. And I think that is a nice thing. In my, like, uh, I've this is just me. What I th I think about what I think about Angular is that Angular is the front end world's equivalent of say C sharp or Java. It's one of those. It, it's not. It, I'm not. Don't take this as a negative thing. But like, it's one of those corporate things in my world. It's one of those things where you know it's a stable thing, you know it's going to work, it has everything you need and you can onboard people fairly easily and then you, you live within sort of within this bubble of tools. And as long as you know those tools, the teams at Google and so forth, like they will take care of making sure that you have all the things that you need in order to do your job. Whereas say React is a little bit more like say Node.js where you get the like the bare bones stuff 
and you kind of have to pull pull everything in together yourself. You have to know about the ecosystem. You have more choices to make, if that makes sense. And that is, it's really a preference there. Do you want to have a lot of choice in what you can do and so forth, or do you want to have something that is a little bit more streamlined? And I feel that's the f that's the big distinction, in my opinion, at the very least, as to why some people go with Angular over, say, React. So what I want you to take away from this is that, well, uh, depending on when you watch this and which region you find yourself in, sometimes Angular is going to be the most popular thing in your region and sometimes, re sometimes React is going to be the most popular thing uh, in terms of like what people are using it in the job market. Though if you look at, say, Stack Overflow, the love for React is, hi is usually higher than Angular and so forth. But I think that, that, that there are reasons behind that because Ang I don't think Angular is bad in any way. Uh, and the reason I found at the very least why most companies pick Angular over React when they do so is because Angular is a real framework and it is much more streamlined. Uh, it's a process of setting things up and working where you kind of get things by just opting in. You don't have to figure out okay, what are all the different libraries and st best practices and like all this and compose it together yourself which is a very nice thing if you want a simpler setup. In React, it's much more you have to kind of know what you need and so forth. And there are pros and there are cons. So in my world, Angular, if you want a fairly simple, straightforward way of working. React, if you want a lot of flexibility and choice in like every nitty gritty little detail uh, that you could have an opinion on. Have a great day.